Hello everyone, Jobexi here, and welcome to Let's Play the Talos Principle. That's real dank. Also, I can I can jump a lot further than I expected myself to be able to jump. Yikes! All right, well I can uh, collect this. Basically, walk wherever I want. But the Sphinx obscures. The Sphinx obscures the, uh, the beam. Okay, so now all I really need is to find a blue receptacle. Um, just in case. We'll try to connect it there, too. Okay, this sign didn't use... This puzzle didn't use, um... Light. That puzzle didn't use light. That puzzle didn't use light. Puzzle did. I, I wonder, can I record outside of a puzzle? No. The recording stops. Oh, am I recording now? Oh, it brings in... Whatever had been in during the recording. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me just more thoroughly... Boopy boop. Beep boop beep. Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you said, I'm certain someone has to. What I've decided is that you convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept, and there's therefore not real. What do you think? Uh... If consciousness isn't real, then nothing's real. Because consciousness is, consciousness is the process by which we base reality. Reality is formed by conscious beings, or at least the concept of reality is formed by conscious beings. Um, I don't, apparently. Very droll. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrative privileges. Yes, please. No doubt you'll be off doing administrative things soon enough, so I wonder if before I let you go, you'd do me one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? I want the truth. 
Now, you say that, but if you're serious about it, then you can't cling to your every belief forever, as you seem so intent on doing. When everything seems impossible, something's got to give. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? No doubt. Okay, I, I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. Alrighty. Displaying overview. Congratulations! Your account has been updated. Here are the details. Conflicts. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. Psychological profile. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Very clever. Um, administrator status has access to advanced functionalities, networking, and troubleshooting. Alright, let me in. Hello, Administrator. I think you'd like assistance accessing communications portal. I'll say that you have a number of pending communications. I'll take a look at it right now. Uh, display the message. Uh, who are you? Uh, same boat. Let's meet up. I'm not sure exactly why that was unnerving, as unnerving to me as it was, but it was pretty unnerving from this end. Alright, big blazing blue light coming from the top of the pyramid and nowhere to throw it. Can't, uh... I thought it disabled that. I must have had to reset. Two, three, four, five. That's why I had to reset. Did it again. Dang it. Uh, restart checkpoint. Oh, that's as bad as resetting. Okay, well, I know how to. What's in here? Nothing. I know how to get things. Let's read this again. So, codename At was uh, Dog's father. And, or, or mother. Uh, parent. How many of these do I have access to from here? Just one. Get the second one. What is the cube I'm intended to have? Oh, it's also in here. Oh, I don't actually know I need it to get the second cube. Yeah, putting a putting a thing on the dude's head would not have occurred to me in like a million years. One 
here. The right angle. If I knew where it would go, like what where the goal was, then the problem would be solved. If it was out here, I could just easy, just as easily connect that. So it must be back here. Because hmm. from seemingly all the way back here, Fairly certain that's not what that's for, but you know, whatever. Um, okay. The right angle. There's nothing on the back of any of these pillars. It'd have to be something that's obscured by something else, something that that door can't see or access. Oh, that's at. Dog is his progeny. Uh, the first person we meet is just dash dash dash. The second is at, is number 17. So at some point they, they gain identities, just as theoretically at some point we have gained identities. Yeah. 
Because then you get Dog and Sephiel and Uriel. Alright, I'm just going... I, I think I have all the pieces. I'm just going to look see if I can understand where the, the, next, the next last thing is. Um... What? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't understand why that counts as an anchor point. I don't see uh, anything here. It doesn't look like, yeah, that doesn't look like a. It's hidden. Why would they do that? that sound like it's a good idea. I mean, I said myself, there's supposed to be secret passages in the Sphinx, but I was looking for a blue gear. I don't know. It's not as bad as the clock puzzle, but it's I don't, I don't feel bad for looking it up. Not in the least. Um, good. I'm up to four stars now. And that seems to be it for this area. And I believe that's also going to be it for this session. Um, so I'm going to come back in another session. The next day I get to record. Alright, we've, uh, we've thoroughly completed number four as well. So we're moving into next time number five. You have solved many of the mysteries of this land. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment and in your creator's pride. Sure. I don't mind. I don't mind if somebody's happy. Whatever's going on here, I'm sure it has something to do with the tower. Everything is telling us not to go there, but everything indicates that we must. You know, that's true. Ooh. Unless you're wrong and Elohim's right, or you're both wrong and there is no right. How about that? I think you've been taking the thing in the archive too serious. <laughs> huh. Osiris 7. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are the blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to Aru, and so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Duat? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known that these must be avoided at all costs. But others say that these too serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what of the hidden paths that are taken by when the... Coming soon, your son, in 3D! Hi mom, promise I'll be home soon, maybe a couple of weeks? I, I know, I know, but what we're doing here is important and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise, but there's so much we have to set up, so much that has to work for a very, very long time. Uh, besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, L is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom, it's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course, but Dad would be totally geeking out if he knew. Maybe I could tell him about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. What's the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question and not one that's easy to answer, but I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive, and someday you will stop being alive. Both of these facts are incontrovertible. So what about it, then? Don't you wonder? Don't you want to just go from... Do you want to just go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? 
you right now as you sit there reading this why do you exist what is the purpose of your life do you have one should you have one is it better to have a purpose or not when you approach death will you feel that your life ha had meaning if so why if not why not what defines whether your life was good or not it may seem abstract right now but that moment just before death will come it is inevitable if you don't ask yourself these questions how will you face that moment you know, I, I have a good friend of mine who um, has agonized, like in, in the true sense of the word, with agony. You know, he's agonized uh, over those thoughts and questions for years now. Um, and it's hard to see somebody, you know, go through that, but I imagine not harder than it is to to go through that. Um, so I don't know. Thinking, I am of the opinion that thinking about things and giving consideration to things and knowing yourself are all very important aspects of who we are as uh, not only as species but as, as individuals. Is that the moon? How is it so far away? And, and so I don't advocate not pondering those things um, and I don't think pondering those things is dangerous no more dangerous than not thinking about those things the answers to your questions will not be given to you <coughs> you must seek them yourself boop boop don't you boop boop me I just found a just found a brand new insert the key pull the handle and watch Probably the end. it's got to be the moon what else could it be okay well that's an interesting thing I know I said I was gonna end the session and I kept talking whoops um, I guess I'll explore the perimeter and find what I can find, and then... Ooh. And then I'll, uh, go from there. The voice keeps saying that this world is a garden, but all I see is a desert full of ruins. Huh. All right, do I want to start another puzzle now? No, I'll start some in the next session. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm really enjoying this series so far. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Leave comments in the in the comment section, uh, letting me know what your thoughts are. Uh, any of the philosophy discussed in this game, I'm, I'm interested in, in hearing your thoughts. Um, yeah, so definitely do that. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play the Talos Principle. If you like what you see, you can click this button right here to be taken to the playlist. You can click my name to be taken to my channel, where you can check out my other content. Or you can click subscribe if you like what you see, to be notified when I produce more excellent content. Thanks so very much for watching, and I will see you in the comments.